Welcome to the second cup of coffee. My name is Jessica and we're going to dive into week two of our series called Finding Life and Death. This week, we're going to talk a little bit about Abraham and Isaac. Many of you might know the story, but we're going to talk also about how we can trust in a time of testing. Um, and this happened for Abraham. And as, as God really asked him to lay down his son, sacrifice his son for him. So for those of you who don't know the story, to put it simple, Abraham was promised to be the father of nations. God had given him a promise. But um, when this promise of his son finally came into his life at an old age, God asked him to lay down his son's life, to take him up to the mountain and to sacrifice him on the altar. So Isaac, or so Abraham, you could assume was probably feeling so discouraged. And in my opinion, I would have been scared, all the feelings, but um, he was obedient. He was obedient to what God asked him to do. He took Isaac to the top of the mountain and he sacrificed, well, he didn't sacrifice. <laughs> he was about to sacrifice him. So God was calling him to a place of obedience, but more than that, God really wanted to find out if, if, if God was priority in Abraham's life, if God was Abraham's first love, even more than his own son. So Isaac, I'm sorry, Abraham took him to the top of the mountain, laid his son on the altar, was about to kill his son, and God stopped him from doing that. He provided an alternate um, sacrifice for him to use in replace of his son. In that story, this story has touched my life in so many different ways because um, there has been many times in my life where God has really just asked me to give up the things that are so valuable to me, the things that I care about, the things that I want to hold on to. And he did that for, um, for Abraham too. And so when I read this story, I can really relate to it. <laughs> and so it, what it does too is it, it gets me thinking that a lot of times God will ask us to walk in obedience to him even when we don't understand what he's doing or why he's asking these things from us. <laughs> so for me, that, that could be so hard to do. It's like, God, why would you? It, it makes you question his character even. <laughs> so what happens is then... Um, we have the choice to either follow our own will and our own reasoning and understanding of things and maybe not follow him in obedience, or we have the choice to say, you know what, I trust you. I trust that you're faithful, a faithful, loving God, and that you're going to lead a way for me through this. And I'm going to be obedient even when I don't see the outcome of this, of what it will look like. And so just like Abraham, I believe God is calling all of us who want to follow Christ, follow Jesus, to, to truly trust him. And so a big scripture that I hold on to in those times where he's calling me to a place of obedience where I don't understand is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And that, I don't even have it written down because I think I know it. So it's basically saying, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he'll direct your path. He'll give you a way. He'll show you what to do. We're supposed to acknowledge him when we don't understand. We're supposed to trust him when we don't understand. And we can trust him because he loves us and he cares about us and he has a plan for us regardless of what the situation looks like to us. We can trust him even when we don't understand. So my encouragement to you guys is to... Find the, those places within your life that are hard to give up to him because you don't understand what he's asking of you or you don't understand what why he's asking you to do certain things. But to just listen and be obedient regardless because he has a plan through it and he's going to guide you through it and he's going to um, bring you peace in the midst of your obedience to him and he's going to make a way where there is no way for you to, to continue forward in following him. And so I want to leave you with one more scripture. And it says, it's in Isaiah 26, 3. And it says, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, 
all whose thoughts are fixed on you. So when you don't understand, when you just don't get it, and God is calling you forward to the things that he has for you in, the, in, in obedience, just remember that he will keep you in peace when you place your trust in him and when you keep your thoughts and focus on him. He'll help you to do the things that are hard for you to do and to do the things that don't make sense to you. So I hope you guys have a good week and that you could take this with you and we'll follow it up next week with some more.